Hello, my name is Khalid Kozuk. I will present to you my fifth level design studio graduation project. The theme is Regenerative Architecture, a Pathway Beyond Sustainability. The typology is Hydrology Resource Center and the site is Karawan Litani River. Starting by the main perspective of the project. Then I mentioned above what is regenerative architecture, where it's based on the idea of creating a building that mimics the restorative aspect found in nature to bring about a positive impact on the overall environment. This project is based on the concept of designing a building that belongs to the context and surrounding and explore a continuous hybrid solution between nature and architecture to deal with the several regional problem in the region. According to the above reason, the concept is to present an idea that revives the southern side of the country. This project will work as a, as a start point of improvement and enhancement, making all reasons for a new life acceptable for all people. Also, the center will be the key of connection between earth and water. Architecture as its purification system, creating a parallel scenario between the, the water purification process and community awareness method to help purify both the river water and the river community themselves. As a result, an environmental awareness project where people get to play an important role in the preservation and protection of the environment and water in Lebanon, Hydrology Research Center was well out conclusion to an educational entertainment project. So as I mentioned before, the site location is on the Karawan artificial lake, Litani River. The Litani River is the largest Lebanese river with a length of about 172 kilometers. There are two major hydrologic units of the Litani Basin. There are the upper and the lower Litani Basin, which are joined in the middle part of the basin at the Karawan Lake. So the problem definition is that the pollution of the lake due to the negative actions of the surrounding the main contributor that the degradation of Litani River are industrial pollution from factories, untreated sewage, chemicals from the agricultural lands, and disposal of municipal waste. Second, lack of researchers in this area. All the outcomes value that could come from this area are not taken into consideration. And finally, the evaporation of water in, Car in Caron Lake had become more intense in the recent years. So as site location, the site is located near the lake where it is considered at the center of Litani River that can be a strong point for water treatment. In addition, the site is surrounded by residential areas, educational center, food market, and existing of agricultural areas. In this slide, I mentioned the form generation of my project, starting by taking into consideration the levels of the site, then starting by placing the main functions of my project gradually. In addition to some studies related to the zoning, entrances, circulation, water supply, and environmental. Finally, I chose the site plan where we can find the final layout composition with the relation between the educational zone, public zone, and the research center. In addition, it showed the visitor entrance, worker entrances, and the truck entrance. Furthermore, it showed the relation between the purification water station and the main water supply source with the different categories of water supplies such as domestic water, water wall, and the aquatonic system. So the ground floor master plan. It shows the main entrances, visitors, workers, and trucks. In addition to the relation between the research center that contain as ground floor the offices, the research lab, where the public building where we can find the main exhibition hall. Furthermore, we can find the main observatory bridge where the main elevator can be taken near the exhibition hall. The first floor master plan. It shows the first floor of each zone, the research zone where we can find the laboratories and their services like storages, incubators, freezer, and the public zone where we can find the main auditorium and a multi-purpose room. In this slide, we can find the second floor master plan where it shows the educational zone that contains educational lab, library, lecture hall. In addition, it shows as planned water wall system. Furthermore, the western elevation that shows the whole composition of the different functions of my project, the research center, the public building, the observation bridge, the power tower, and finally, the water purification station and the agricultural zone. Finally, it shows also the industrial style, the water wall system that are used in the educational zone, exhibition, and at the entrance hall. 
The basement master plan that shows the domestic water zone, the sample receiving zone that contained the reception area, labeling, and storage. In addition to the aquatonic system that are composed of three stages, the fish farm, water storage of the fish water, and the agricultural zone. And furthermore, the food court with the two main core coming from the exhibition and the visitor parking lots, the amphitheater, and finally, the water purification station. Regarding the section, it showed the steel structure system used in the project and the relation between the different zones with their different height and functions. The aquatonic system. This slide showed the location and zones of the aquatonic system in my project that contain the fish farm, the fish water storage, and the agricultural zone. The main goal in aquatonic system is to create plants growth by using aquatic animals waste. Consequently, aquatonic uses the fish waste as a fertilizer for the plants while the plants clean the water for the fish. The plants benefit from the existing of the fish and the other way around. Furthermore, I mentioned some detail from the agricultural zone regarding the vegetation zone, the water supply, and the roof that can be respond to the climate change. The water wall solar design. Water wall are effective because they provide thermal mass and quicker heat exchange than concrete or machinery. They are said to have a 10 to 20 percent advantages over slightly larger machinery wall in moderate climates. In addition, energy saving in heating and cooling can be in the 70 or 90 percent range. Solar water wall have also been made out of other materials, but these ones are made out of a clear fiberglass. They can be filled with dyed water to increase efficiency or for aesthetics. The water wall is composed by three main elements, the water tank, the water pipe, and pipe closer for ventilation. In addition, I mentioned how the water comes from the water purification station to reach the water wall storage. Starting by the domestic water. Domestic water area is located, as I've mentioned before, in the basement floor. It contains the domestic water process starting by the mechanical core where purified water comes to be stored in the water tank, passed through special pipes that have special lead lights. Then, passing through several phases like filling part, capping part to read the final steps and to be stored. Second, the purification water station design that are composed by six phases, river intake, coagulation, clarification, filtration, disinfection, and storage. So this slide contains several features used in the project, starting by the power tower, where the use of a power tower, each tower shading system is about 15 meters in diameter, and it's made up of hundreds of millions of sheets of metal. They do not fully reflect the sun rays, but they reflect the sunlight of from 20 to 30% of the sun, which had a great benefit in preventing the water of being evaporated. The umbrella system of the wall system is composed of hundreds of millions of independent mobile units. Each one is automatically controlled by the computer to ensure the optimal position and orientation of each unit at the same time. It's also a solar collector which converts solar energy into electricity for use of the tower itself, which is environmentally friendly and pollution free. The Fognet strategy used in the agricultural zone facade and in the exhibition facade. The fognet collector refers to the collection of water from fog using large piece of vertical mesh net to make the fog drops flow down toward a tower below, known as fog collector or fog net. The fiber-based position. Add the amphitheater where it's new technique to purified water, where the amphitheater will be filled with purified water that change level according to the water level in summer or winter. Finally, I end up with a main three section in the research center, with a detailed section shown also. In this slide, I mentioned a main 3D shot showing the different components of my project, in addition to a south elevation and an exploded 3D showing the different level in my project. And finally, I will end up by my physical model in phase one and two and my site model and with a secondary main perspective. Thank you.